hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with an another interesting topic uh, this is more related to monitoring docker container metrics and its performance using c advisor prometheus and grafana okay so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can write the complete grafana prometheus docker compose file okay and which will also include uh, node exporter and c advisor uh, services so if you don't know what is c advisor it's a short form of uh, container advisor okay so what it actually does is it provides us the complete uh, information on the resource usage and performance characteristics of the containers running on the node okay so this can be easily integrated with prometheus so that's why we are going to use prometheus in this uh, tutorial okay so how this setup would be like we'll have a prometheus uh, container running okay and we will have a node exporter and also we will have c advisor okay and we will have uh, the prometheus.yaml file uh, which will be scrapping the content for node exporter and uh, c advisor in it okay and uh, we will have be running all this uh, prometheus node exporter c advisor and even grafana as uh, containers on docker okay so docker will be the base or the node where in which it will be running and we'll have grafana at the end where we'll be getting all the output uh, as a dashboard in grafana okay so that's how it will be in this uh, tutorial i by end of this tutorial what you will be getting as an output so just to have a quick view on this uh, docker compose file like grafana prometheus docker compose file what uh, we'll be writing which will usually have four section okay the first section will be on the prometheus uh, uh, service so we'll be writing the prometheus uh, volume so uh, command and ports and everything i will show you this in the sublime text editor okay so and we'll have a one section for node exporter and we'll have one section for c advisor and at the end we'll have something for grafana as well okay so and we'll also have a prometheus.yaml file where we'll be configuring the scrapping of the content okay so before i get into the actual uh, process uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel or you're new to my channel kindly check my videos i am sure you'll be liking it if you have feedbacks please give the comments okay so kindly subscribe to my channel like this video share and comment so in order to get started if you see this is the uh, docker compose file which i'll be using for this tutorial so uh, i have shown a lot of tutorial on docker compose file so i'm not going to uh, go step by step writing but i will just uh, uh, tell you what we have it here so we have one service called prometheus where we are using the image for prometheus and we have a volume where i will be using this prometheus.yaml file from the uh, host machine which will be mapped to the container prometheus com container okay so this yaml file will have the scrapping of the content for uh, prometheus server and also the node exporter and also from the c advisor okay so what we are saying is the command like uh, to run this prometheus using this uh, uh, prometheus.yaml file okay and the port for prometheus is 9090 okay and uh, i have another service for node exporter and the image is uh, prom iphone node exporter and the port for node exporter is 9100 okay so i'm mapping both from the no uh, host machine and also from the container and the c advisor as i said it's a container advisor uh, pa package where i'm using the google c advisor image okay and the port will be used for 8080 and the volumes has to be mapped these are some demands for docker which has to be mapped okay so in order to uh, understand more about c advisor you can go to this uh, github link i will link it in the video description so where you can see what is the uh, you know uh, process or how we can easily start the container uh, for c advisor in docker so what all the volumes you can map to get uh, what kind of data to be scrapped okay so uh, i'll link this uh, tutorial uh, page in the video description so you can have a look there so if once we have a uh, node exporter c advisor and prometheus running the next part is we should have a grafana so that we can display the output uh, in a grafana dashboard okay so uh, for grafana i'm using the image grafana and the user uh, for grafana okay and i'm going to set the environment variable where i want to set the password for a default login so i'm just setting the password as password okay and i'm going to say that this uh, grafana uh, container or uh, is dependent on prometheus so 
which is uh, this service, right? So Prometheus service and the port for Grafana is 3000. Okay. So this is the whole uh, Docker Compose file. I will uh, share the GitHub link so you can go to my GitHub location and you can download this uh, uh, YAML file, okay, Docker Compose YAML file. So another one important thing is this Prometheus.yaml file which we'll be using to scrap the content. So if you have seen, these are the main jobs. So one for Prometheus where I'm targeting the uh, node, uh, Docker node where I'm, you know, this is my IP address for you, it may be different. So change this with your host IP address, okay? And uh, node exporter is going to be in the port uh, 9100 and the host uh, IP address is same. Okay, and the C advisor is uh, running on 8080, okay? So this will be the uh, Prometheus.yaml file, which I'll be using uh, here to scrap the content. Okay, so let's get started. So I will go to my, uh, docker machine so this is my docker container machine okay so if i see i don't have any containers running so i'm inside a folder called prometheus grafana so i'm going to create first uh, a f uh, file called prometheus.yaml okay and i'm going to copy the content from here and i'm going to paste it here So I'm going to save this file. So if you see, I have a, a file called Prometheus.yaml. So let me create another file for called uh, Docker Compose.yaml. Okay. And let me go to my text editor, and I'm going to copy this uh, content. Okay. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So you have the whole content over here for the YAML file, which I have copied from there, okay? So I'm going to save this. So we have uh, two files, one for Docker Compose and one for uh, Prometheus.yaml file, okay? So if you see this location, I have given like it's in the current location. If you are keeping in some other folder or something, you have to change this volume accordingly, okay? So now let's start the containers using Docker Compose up, okay? So I'm going to use Compose up and the detach mode, so uh, it can run on the back end okay so now if you see it's uh, created uh, four containers right one for prometheus one for node exporter one for c advisor and one for grafana okay it has done uh, so quickly because all these images are already downloaded in my docker machine if you are newly doing this this will download each and every uh, images uh, what we need so it, it will download for prometheus node exporter c advisor and grafana so it may take some time for you okay for in my machine these images are already available that's why it's quickly done it so if i see docker p as you can see uh, we have uh, four containers running one for grafana one for c advisor one for prometheus one for node exporter right so now what i want to do is to access uh, grafana i need to use the ip address and the port number uh, 3000 right so let me go here so this will be the IP address, okay. Let me go to my browser. So let me uh, try to access the Grafana using 3000, okay. Okay, so you can see the Grafana is up. So let me try to log in. So the username will be pa uh, admin and the password is password, which I set it in the image, right? So now we are in the Grafana. Okay, so we don't have much any data here, so we need to uh, configure it. So before that, I also want to show how I can access the C advisor. So the C advisor is running on the port uh, 8080. Okay, so you can run that. You can see uh, the C advisor is uh, up here, right? So you can see the details over here. So if you slash Docker. You can see uh, what are the containers running, right? So one is for Prometheus, Node Explorer, C Advisor, Grafana, right? So you can see the details for C Advisor as well. So if you want Prometheus, you can uh, change this to 9090, right? Yep, so you can see the Prometheus uh, up here, right? And uh, you can see the targets. We have Node Explorer and the Prometheus and C Advisors, right? So if you're not uh, aware of Prometheus stuff, you know, just have a look in my previous tutorial. I have shown 
multiple tutorial on how to set up Prometheus, how to add node exporter, how to create alerts, how to integrate with Slack. So a lot of tutorials are there on Prometheus and also on Grafana. So you can uh, go through that. Okay. So now if I go to Grafana, you need to add a data source, right? So here our data source is Prometheus. So I will select this and the uh, uh, host uh, will be this 9090. Okay. And let me go and save and test. So it's uh, working. Okay. So let me go back to the home page. So we have this stage completed, right? Now, if I go to create dashboard, you can click on create a new panel. You can select the uh, um, you know the data sources Prometheus and then you can go to the metrics you will be able to see the details over here so if you see the containers it has uh, scrapped a lot of contents right so if you see machine you can see here you have node uh, contents here you have process you have Prometheus right you have scrapping details so you have uh, all these details showing up here in this data source so for example, if I just go to containers and if I use uh, uh, something from here, you can see the data is started coming up here, right? Because since we just started these containers, it's not available for longer pre period. So it's just uh, getting to start now, okay? Uh, but uh, to make it much easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import uh, no, um, a dashboard, okay? So uh, let me import a dashboard. And this dashboard ID is uh, 11600, okay? So you can search in the Grafana dashboards available there. You'll be able to uh, see about this and also you will be able to you know, see other uh, dashboard as well. So let me just select the uh, Prometheus data source and I'm just going to import it. Now, do you see that the dashboard is already uh, ready because this is predefined dashboards which are available using our data, okay? So you can see there is a dashboard for CPU usage on node, network traffic on node, and then these are containers, right? Memory per containers, right? So we can see a lot of uh, data is already predefined, right? See advisor version, Prometheus version, host, right? Docker version. So everything is predefined over here. So the similar way, there are other dashboard as well. You can create your own dashboard or you can import something like this and you can start using it. So that's all uh, just to recap, you know, we have this Prometheus.yaml uh, where we are scrapping the content, right? And we have the Docker Compose file where we have four services, Prometheus, Node Exporter, C Advisor, Grafana, right? All these details are available in my GitHub. So I'll be sharing this GitHub location uh, where I have this Docker Compose and Prometheus.yaml file where you can just copy and use it for your uh, tutorials or your learning or you, whatever you want to use with those uh, you know, uh, files. So that is all for this tutorial. I hope uh, this is informative for you and thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, share and comment.